What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be restoring some 2020 Fire Red 4s. In the past I've destroyed several pairs, but this time it's going to be different. We're going to be bringing these back to life. I'm going to show you guys how to deep clean the sneaker inside and out, repaint this midsole, fix the deep scratches and scuffs all around the white leather, and remove the yellowing. So without further ado, let's get it started. These shoes are completely trash, so we are going to be using our Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit that comes with all three brushes, solution, shoe trees, towel, and our laundry bag. We are going to be putting these shoes in the washing machine because they do need it. First things first, we're going to take out our laces and insole, and we're only going to be working on the left shoe. Got the insole and the lace out, we'll clean those up later. Used shoes always have a bunch of debris all around, so it's important to take care of that before you start cleaning the shoes. Next, we're going to grab the air compressor and blow off any surface dust before we start cleaning up the shoes. Prep is complete, now we're onto the shoe tree. The shoe needs to be reshaped. As you can see, there's a lot of creases on the toe box. This is going to help with that. Let's readjust it. Put it at this hole and put it inside the shoe. Now let's grab our four ounce bottle solution and squirt two squirts inside our bowl of water. <coughs> Onto the cleaning. First brush we're going to be using is our soft bristle brush. We're going to hit the entire upper and inside so we can start breaking down all the grime and dirt. The top bristle brush did a great job cleaning up these uppers. Now we're gonna move on to the medium bristle brush. We're gonna continue to hit the uppers up. My main focus now is the white stitching. We wanna get it a lot wider. Once we're done with that, we're gonna move on to these midsoles. Good to go with the medium bristle brush. As you can see, we wiped off the majority of the black paint on this midsole. That's just because I believe Jordan Brand used a very thin layer of black paint, not enough for it to stick onto the midsole. That's why it kind of came off. So if you guys are cleaning the shoe, be very careful not to scrub too hard in the midsole area because your black paint can come off. In my case, I wanted to get as much off because I'm going to repaint the shoe anyway. Now the next brush we're going to be using is our stiff bristle brush. We're going to take care of the outsole before we put the shoe inside the washing machine. Pre-treatment is complete on the shoe. One more thing we gotta do is clean up the lace and the insole. For the lace, we're gonna put it inside our leftover solution of water. Then we're gonna grab our medium bristle brush and give this insole a good scrub. to go with this cleaning you guys last step we got to do is grab our laundry bag put everything inside head over to the washing machine with our detergent pots to finish the cleaning the washer got the shoe out of the washing machine it's fully dried ready to go we get a clean base to work with and it smells good also now moving on with this restoration this shoe has been heavily worn specifically on the netting there's a lot of yellowing going on usually you don't want to paint this because the paint's going to come right off plus there's a black backing on the back so that will just get covered in white paint so revive typically doesn't bring this back to fully white but i'm going to try it anyway i'm going to apply a nice thin even coat on all three parts put it inside the vic 2000 for a few hours hopefully it minimizes the yellow Got the shoe out of the Vic 2000. I let it sit overnight for several hours and honestly it did not make much of a difference. The problem is the solar vibe dries up pretty fast. If I would reapply every hour or so, maybe it'll make a difference, but I'm not going to go through that hassle. The next step, we got to focus on the prep work. We're going to be using acetone and cotton balls to remove all the paint off the midsole. Got the paint off the midsoles. The black was so much easier to remove during the cleaning process. The white was really on there, but with some acetone and cotton balls, we got it all off. 
Now moving on to the uppers, there's a lot of scratches all around. We gotta smooth that down before we do anything else. So for this, we'll be using some 400 grit sandpaper and 600 grit sandpaper. The scratches are specifically on the toe box. We got some over here, one big one in the back, and a couple on this side. We're gonna sand it down before we can move on to some other filler. Good to go with the sandpaper for now. These areas are a lot smoother, but it's still pretty rough. The leather's uneven right now. So we're gonna go in and fill it in with some leather filler. Shout out to Angelus. They actually sent over their brand new leather filler product. I'm excited to use it. We're gonna be applying it using a spatula. We're gonna hit up all the areas, let it sit for a couple hours, let it fully dry, and then we'll go back in and sand it one more time. Step one, always read the instructions. Looks about the same though, let's just go for it. Leather filler has been applied. We let it sit for several hours to let it fully dry and cure. Now we're gonna grab some sandpaper once again with 400 grit and 600 grit, and we're gonna sand it down to get it nice and smooth and flush with the rest of the leather. Good to go with the sanding on the leather. Now we're gonna tape everything off but the leather so we can lay down our paint. Tape job's complete, now let's lay down some white paint to cover up all these nasty scuffs. Leather restoration is complete. With the combination of using sandpaper, Angela's leather filler, and some white paint, you can make the leather look almost flawless. Our next focus is the midsole. But first, we gotta do some taping. All right, that was pretty quick. Next step, we're gonna be focusing on laying down our white paint from Angela's and using an angler brush. We're just gonna be laying it down on the bottom portion of the midsole. White paint looks great. Now we're gonna tape it off so we can move on to the black, this time using the airbrush. All taped up once again. Now for the black paint, we'll be using the card through the airbrush. Repaint on the midsole is complete. It came out nearly perfect. We still gotta go in and do some touch-ups, but we'll do that at the end with the rest of the touch-ups on the white uppers. Next, we're gonna take care of the creasing on the toe boxes. It's really not that bad. The Shuchis did a good job of reshaping the sneaker, but we could do a bit better. So for this, we'll be using the iron method. We'll take out the shoe tree, stuff the toe box with some towels, place a wet rag over the toe box, and simply iron it out. Good to go with the iron method. The toe box looks a little bit better. Not exactly perfect. That crease is pretty harsh, but we did what we could. Now onto the sock liner. One of the most noticeable things when it comes to your shoes is the sock liner. It's always covered in lint. So with the lint shiver, we're gonna clean all that up. Easy. Let's take care of the details before we wrap up this restoration. Really all we gotta do now is grab some black paint, touch up the midsole here and there to sharpen it up. We're also gonna be using the wipes to remove any scuffs that's all over the plastic hardware, specifically the black areas. Then we'll lace them up. Restoration is complete, let's lace them up.
All right, everybody, that is gonna bring us to an end on this restoration on these 2020 Fire Red 4s. This is a pretty big before and after for not too much work needed. The methods that I did in today's video can be applied to a lot of different shoes. What I went ahead and did today was use our Shoemaker Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit to give the shoe a full, proper deep clean inside and out, got rid of all the bacteria and germs. After that, we tried using our Shoemaker Sword Vibe to remove the yellowing off the netting. We got very minimal results. If I would have taken a different approach, as in maybe applying Sword Vibe every 10 minutes and letting it sit in the indoor setup for several hours, maybe I could have got back to white. That's a method that I'll have to try in the future. After that, we did a lot of prep work on the uppers and the midsoles. We sent it down the leather. Lay down some leather filler from Angelus, repainted the entire white upper and got some clean, good results. For the midsoles, the majority of the black paint came off during the cleaning, but for the white, it took a long time to scrub off. Afterwards, we gave it a good fresh repaint with some black and white paint. Other than that, the rest of the work was just details. You can find all our products at rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code down below to save some money. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next Monday. This is Vic Almighty. See you guys.